So camera is running, fan is running. So since this is a pretty fresh hobby, you have to improvise. Alright, so these are the parts that I'm using. This is a camera. It has tape on the lens just to make sure that they are protected. This is a 3D printed camera holder, cooling fan, some spacers. I made them out of this cable. But since this is a pretty fresh hobby, you have to improvise every time. These are the screws from uh, old servo motor. And uh, fuck off. Here is uh, the cable that supplies air unit and the cable that goes from battery. This is a little diode that is gonna be used as a uh, inverse polarity protection. Air unit, some other parts from the air unit and antennas. I will use existing screws on the ESC uh, to fit the air unit and one additional fan. But before that I will trim off this fan protection in order to fit uh, air units closer to the fan. Now I'm uh, connecting the camera and I will add a little bit of super glue just to make sure that this super weak connector is going to last a little bit longer. I'm adding fan uh, spacers and screws and I have to apply a little bit of force to fit the screw into the hole, but this is exactly what uh, keeps everything together. Design of camera holder depends of the construction of your model and the position for the camera that you like the most. I will add two zip ties just to protect the connector a little bit more. It is very important to connect the cooling fan and air unit in parallel because uh, if the fan stops working uh, the air unit should stop working too and this is the way you can uh, protect it from overheating. I also added a little diode because I don't know if these components have uh, inverse polarity protection. The connector that I created is uh, designed for this transceiver that later is going to allow me to turn it on and off with a touch of the button on the steering wheel. You can use uh, this connector directly from the battery. Just make sure that uh, voltages are matched with the components that you are using. So in this case I'm just going to test it with this battery. Fan starts spinning and the green light should turn on. and. We should have a video uh, okay there it is so camera is running fan is running ground unit is connected with uh, hdmi cable and uh, i'm not using uh, vr goggles because uh, when on the track uh, many people wants to try to drive the rc car with a steering wheel uh, it's much easier to just use this monitor than the vr goggles and here is the temperature it's 40, almost 45 degrees Celsius and uh, now I will turn on the ESC so this is the little fan from inside and we will see the temperature drop now it is 39 degrees even when the ESC is uh, running hot it will keep the temperature around 50 Celsius degrees, which is uh, enough. I will share with you the rest of the knowledge I have about power supply and sound. But first, let's start with the power supply. I'm suggesting you to get uh, these so-called pin header strip. Uh, board pin header connector strip. So you can trim them to a size that your connector requires also a good thing to have uh, while working on these RC projects are these step up and step down converters for example this one can um, increase the voltage 
if uh, for example your air unit requires higher voltage than your battery is you can use this one and uh, this one can both increase and decrease the voltage so I will leave some links where you can uh, get an idea what sort of product is this also for these connectors speaking of audio uh, if you're driving RC car you will definitely be need a sound and since the digital system does not support at least I don't know that any digital FPV supports uh, sound uh, I needed some brute force solution so I decided to use this particular walkie-talkie uh, twin torker 9500 why I'm telling uh, this particular because this is uh, the one that I know for sure that when its uh, button is soldered to be constantly on it is working when the, uh, when it's connected to the power supply because earlier I tried some others and uh, you just can't can't use it that way you connect it to a power supply and it does not work uh, this model uh, is working these walkie talkies are both the same but uh, I removed the case from this one to make it uh, fit better better into RC car it works perfectly even though the LCD is broken. I also uh, soldered 3.5 mm connector to its speaker. I connected to a Bluetooth speaker. I have a pretty decent audio while driving. But uh, in the future our transceiver is gonna do that job so there is uh, one less component to connect on the RC car but before we use the walkie-talkie and before we had uh, audio on transceiver we use the um, multiple FPV system this one is a digital and it was used just for video and uh, the other one was a analog system that supported uh, an audio so we use uh, both of them to have a win-win combination if you have any question feel free to ask in the comments our web page and Instagram are also going to be linked into description make sure you check my other videos because the topics are similar to this one thanks for watching and see you on the racetrack